My name is Cindy and I am a volunteer at Glide Goods. I started with Glide Goods when uh, I think the first uh, opening day and now it can't run without me. Over there I got clean socks, I got shirts, um, you need anything you know hygiene wise, I got shampoos and soaps, um, everything's free, anything you need that I have, come on over and get it, you know. I, my stepdad's um, uh, Georgia accent comes in. I don't know how it comes in, but it does. Hey, you know, <laughs> how y'all doing? You know, speak to them just like you know they're your sister or they're your brother. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like they're human beings. To to have somebody learn their name, you know, call them by their name, mm -hmm. it just gives them a sense of, of belonging somewhere, and you give them a moment to feel special. Because out there on the street, you, there's nothing special. You're not, you know, you're not a special person. So when they come in here, uh, just for a moment, you you, uh, you joke around with them. You make yeah. them laugh. You make them feel special for just, you know, that, that brief moment that you're here. Um, they have nobody and nothing. And I'll go for the two hours that I'm here and try to make these people just special for a couple of hours. And give them whatever I have to give them. And then I go home to my room with my kitchen and my bathroom and uh, you know, my, I, my dishes and my refrigerator that has food in it. And uh, my life is not that bad. Um, I know how people are on the streets because I was one of them. Um, at one point, I was living in a field where they parked the PG&E trucks and uh, across the street was an apartment complex that had a fountain in it, so I bathed in that. And there was a, uh, a safe way across the street, so that's where I stole my food and alcohol from. I found myself lost and um, in the pouring rain with two dollars and my purse stolen. I um, found myself uh, in front of a Salvation Army building. And I went there, stayed 62 days, went up front, did the program for two years, and turned my life around. So I walked by Glide one day, and I said, well, that's, that's just it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> it's a block away from me. I got to do so. So I walked in <laughs> to this woman's office here. Her name is Lauren. And um, I just started talking to her. I said, look, <laughs> I need to get out of my room. So I, I just want to volunteer. And she said, <laughs> Can you come back tomorrow and we'll, because we're starting this good store and you know, you sound like you'd be perfect for it. And I said, oh my God, when I was on the street living in that field, if somebody would come to me and said, here, here's some toilet paper, here's some clean socks, here's a clean t-shirt. I, I mean, I would have been ecstatic about it, you know? You've got 6,000 people here that I'm sure need a bar of soap and a pair of clean socks. Because you just don't know what it's like to live on the street and have dirty, nasty socks and be able to strip those off and put a nice clean pair. You know what it's like? It's like getting into a bed that has brand new clean sheets. <laughs> it's that exactly the same. To put on clean socks is the same. And for them, it's like getting into a hotel bed. I've been, I've been a waitress. I've been a bartender. I have been... A powder coater, I have been a machine operator. Even with these nails, I still ran a sheet metal machine. But there is absolutely nothing that makes me happier than doing this. Just two hours of the day to say, how y'all doing? Let's get you some free stuff. And I've never been happier than that feeling. But just for now, I just want to help. I just want to give them something and make them feel special for a few minutes during the day. That's, that's why I do what I do here.